Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you all for being here, those of you who are joining us on the Zoom, as well as everybody here at the, at the Performance Center. I'm glad to finally announce after um, some, uh, an off-season of discussion that we have come to terms on an extension for Denis Bowanga to continue as a designated player for LAFC uh, into the future. So we are incredibly excited that Denis um, and LAFC have come to this agreement. I'm very grateful to our owners for their support and the resources that they make available to continue in our pursuit in winning more and more trophies and also grateful that Denis has seen and enjoyed his time, seen how much he's enjoyed his time here and has committed his, uh, his future for the next few years to LAFC. So I know that's something that makes us as a, as a staff and as an organization, as well as our supporters, very pleased. So we'll go to questions in person. Sure. John, you did have him locked up, I think, through 2025 and then a club option. Why, why add on top of that? And you said this was discussed over the off season. Is, did you initiate it? Did he, how, how did it come together? Yeah, thank you for those couple questions. You, you are right in, and I don't discuss terms publicly, but you're on the right track in terms of uh, Denis's previous contractual situation. And my answer is consistent with a number of other times when we've done this. Uh, if we feel a player has outperformed a contract, which I think Denis has exceeded in our lofty expectations since he's been here, he's been very critical to our success when possible. We, we want to reward that, and I think that's something that we've consistently done as a club from, uh, from 2018. So, Denis, it's an example of that. So, we feel like Denis' performances since he's been here rewarded um, an improvement in his, in his contract. And then from the club side, the fact that we know now that we, he will be here beyond 2026, which was his previous arrangement, we felt like it was a win-win for both of us. So and you, then, you initiated those talks? Yeah, so then uh, to get to the timing of the conversation, it was a conversation that started in the back end of last year where we said, look, you know, we have to do our budgeting and, and all of the things and see how the puzzle pieces fall. But we are very interested in having this conversation with you and your representatives. And they were open to it. Denis loves it here in L.A. His family has settled well, and it's there for all to see the – the success that he has helped bring to LAFC with his individual performances. So it was, it took a while to get to the conclusion that we're at, we're at today, but uh, we were always hopeful that we were going to get there. Uh, what, what does the mean, what does the move mean for uh, clubs that may be interested in Denny? Uh, what is, what does it mean for LAFC for clubs who are coming to ask about him now? You have him locked longer term. Does that change the dynamic in terms of a loan or a move or anything like yeah, not necessarily. Can everybody online hear the question? So the, the, que the question was what the extension means in terms of other suitors uh, for, for Denis and whether it changes that conversation. In actual fact, it doesn't change a lot. I mean, it's not it, – those conversations shift when a player is running out of a contract and then the dynamic changes if you're then extended. So I, I don't think that the, the conversation changes all that much. And, you know, if, if – as I'm sure it will, the interest from other clubs continues for Denis. We'll continue to sit down and have those conversations and work with Denis as representatives and see what makes sense for LAFC and, and for them. So I don't, I don't think this extension and improvement in this contract alters those, the dynamic of those conversations. Darren Haynes uh, with KCAL. Can you just explain some more in, in regards to how important of a move this is in, in the direction that you guys want to go in for LAFC? Sure. Will that be – the question was what this move says. Okay, he's got it. Uh, uh, so uh, thank you very much for the question. And for those of you who can't see a very well-dressed gentleman here, um, I would say it is a continuation of, of our ambition. I think we, what we identified in Denis, well, it's almost two years ago, was a player that we really thought would be a piece that would help bring success. And we got that immediately in 2022. And then his season is one of the best seasons in LAFC and league history and historic in some ways. And so for us, it was, you know, 
taking where we are and looking ahead and, and the ambitions that this club has to continue to win trophies, to compete on all fronts. And we saw Denis as a critical piece in that. And then the other side of it is, is how we treat our players and the message it sends that, look, if you do well here and as far as in, in so far as it's possible that we can improve your terms and, and reward you for bringing what you bring to LAFC, we are willing to do that. And that's, something that you know starts with our owners and we we greatly appreciate their understanding of, of what that then does for for a team and the, and the message sends internally and the message it sends externally is we believe Denis is one of if not the best attacker in the league and to have him here you know for the near medium potentially long term is something that is exactly aligned with our ambitions of winning more trophies uh, John, thank you. I know one of the ethoses of the club is character and fit within the team, within the roster. That's something we don't know a great deal about regard, with regard to Denny. Mm -hmm. If we set aside football, how big of a component is that to this extension and his, his role within the club away from football and within the team? Yeah, you are right in that ethos. And we always say man first, player second. And if we didn't feel Denis was absolutely the right character. We wouldn't be sitting here today, uh, nor would we have signed him in the first place. And I think Denis, I think the reason you maybe don't sense it externally is more a function of language than actual character. And what we see internally is a guy who shows up willing to work every day. He's in, it's incredible how available he is. I mean, he, because of how he takes care of himself, he is never injured. He is willing to play. He wants to play 90 minutes every game in every competition. Last year when we were going through some of our more congested periods and we had to put the brakes on, Denis was up in arms saying, you know, I want to play in this game, this game, this game. And so he's got a real hunger for success. Um, we're very pleased to see his family has settled in really well in L.A. We know the affinity our supporters have for him and the success he's brought. So... All in all, as a, as a man, as a player, for his family, for us as a club, this makes great sense. Um, can I ask what the status of Carlos Vela's conversations are? Where, where are we with that? You can ask. It, it, there's <laughs> something raised here, and I will get to it. I just don't know if we'll yeah. cover it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We'll, we'll take ask this now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it's, it's not much of an update other than to say the talks are ongoing and I would say we're days and days closer to clarity on the situation. Our position has not changed. We would love to see the story and the narrative of Carlos and LAFC continue. Is there a deadline for that? I mean, is, is there a certain point where There's, it doesn't make sense? Uh, yes, we're not there yet, but I would say there is there a point where it doesn't make sense yet. The instant impact Denny had coming off the first season and, and kind of you spoke about person he is overall how does that help the team and also for future uh, players to come mm -hmm. how does you know his his example kind of help yeah. the team and, and all that yeah I think Denis was the second player after Carlos that we invested in as a designated player of that age group and I think what Denis showed is we identified a player who was who has a strong track record and success at a top league in Europe who came here and and did what we were hoping which was turn into a very strong attacking force in this league but what I, what I like about the story is the success he's had has gotten the attention of people in Europe and now Denise market individually by leaving Europe and coming here has grown and I think that's a story that was not necessarily common when I played in MLS or even in recent history. And I think that is testament to where this league is going. And, and certainly when I am speaking to players now, they see the success that he has had, the past he's had, his form here. And then even in speaking with Hugo Lloris, the, the attention that it is getting in, in France, I think is helpful for us in terms of our recruitment and also our ambition of always wanting to be more and more global in our in our reach.